Now, of course, it was all about the second half performance today as Leitrim really acquitted themselves very, very well against, let's remember, the 2016 All-Ireland semi-finalists. And one of the main reasons for that impact in the second half was the introduction of Evan Sweeney, the forward from Manor Hamilton. Evan Sweeney joins us now to talk about that particular second half of the game. Evan, well, welcome back to the show. Thanks, Bethany. Talk to us about, I suppose, uh, the, the, the half-time situation. You find yourself on the bench in the first half, uh, losing, not playing particularly well, despite having had a fairly strong wind in that first half. Um, what's it going into your mind as you come into the, the fray in the second 35 minutes? I suppose um, just it was a really important game. I suppose you're, yeah, you're sitting there in the first half, just trying to make an impact and, and make something positive happen when you come on. Um, I suppose we had a, a blistering start to the second half. We started really well and we just found it hard to kind of continue with that good form. But um, yeah, I suppose you're just trying to come on and try and, and uh, push on the lads and, and do what you can really. At 15 points to 2-11, the final score, and the two goals really kind of came at really bad times for Leitrim, one in the middle of the first half and one in the, kind of in the middle of the second half as well, just before those water breaks. How much of a problem is it when you can see goals at those key moments in games to stay with the opposition? Yeah, I suppose the, the second goal, all right, yeah, we, were, we had all the momentum and we were playing most of the, the good football. Um, I think we got three or four scores in a row and we were really up. I, I felt we were on top up front. Um, I suppose they, they scored a goal. It was well worked in fairness and they, they held their composure and, and that was a real circle punch because then all of a sudden I think it was back to four points and, you know, 10, 15 minutes at four points. We did get it back to two towards the end, but they just had that little bit of a, a gap that we couldn't close out in the end. But um, yeah, just it was a real momentum swinger really. But I suppose in Division Three, these teams when they get in front of goal, they take their chances. You know, they're they're fairly composed and clinical. So, yeah, it was a circle punch. In terms of I suppose on the flip side, Leitrim's two best goal chances probably fell to corner to cor- or to wing back, shall I say? And Killy McGlone and Aidan Flynn had probably the two best goal chances of the game. Didn't manage to score either of them. Just Killian's one just out of his grasp, and Aidan keeper made a good stop. How important is it at that level in Division Three to take your chances when you get them like that? Yeah, I suppose when you have a disappointing result, um, it's easy to look back at kind of things we could have done right or wrong. But I suppose over the course of the game, like we were chasing the game going down the home straight. Um, but yeah, that's it. I suppose just it's a learning curve for all of us um, when we're in those positions. I suppose for again, we have that kind of experience from this year to help us. But um, yeah, I just felt Tipperary were probably just very clinical in front of goals. But um, yeah, I can't fault our lads either. Like, you know, our, our effort was fairly good. And even when it did go back to four points, you know, we could have put the, dropped the heads. But I thought we kind of kept plugging away until the end and went down fighting. So, yeah, it's just disappointing at the moment. You say went down fighting. And unfortunately, that is the end result after today's game is moving back down to Division 4. Leitrim spent a decade or more down in Division 4 the last time they were in there. Can they come back out of it the first bounce? Because there is the nucleus of a really strong squad here, particularly at that Division 3 or Division 4 level. Uh, definitely. Like, you know, you know, it's very disappointing tonight to be relegated after, you know, working so hard last year to get promoted. And the promotion probably wasn't just last year. It's been other lads that have, have since probably finished playing for Leitrim. They put a years of service in trying to get out of the division. So just right now, it's very disappointing. But definitely, like, I think we all know that there's a very good group of core lads there um, and the talent is there. And even the games, you know, we, I suppose we won a game and, and drew a game. Um, but even the games we lost, like they've all been competitive. We weren't outplayed in any game. I know the Cork, Cork probably pushed out and kicked on towards the end in that, in that early league game. But overall, we've been very competitive. Um, it's just about performing now for 70 minutes and not just playing in, in fits and bursts. But, no, there's a very good core group of lads there. So Division 4 next year, all right. But we'll be looking to really, I suppose, build on this year's experience and pushing on, really. After today's disappointment, only really got the six week or six days, should I say, turnaround to the Mayo Connacht Championship game. And they don't come much bigger than this. They were relegated to Division 2 today, a one-point defeat to Tyrone. First time in 23 years they've been outside the top division. They're going to be hurting. They're going to be looking to 
to make a statement next week. Is that a good thing from a Leitrim point of view or uh, is it a chance maybe to catch them when they're down? Yeah, I suppose it's in Connacht, there's no really, you know, in the Connacht Championship, there's no easy games. So I think personally, I know I'm looking forward to next weekend once we get kind of tonight's or once we get today's defeat behind us. Um, we'll be looking forward to test ourselves against one of the best teams in the country. It's, um, yeah, as I said, there's no easy game in Connacht, but I know we lost today, but definitely the, the, the performances, you know, at stages throughout the league. I know we obviously had the big break with the, uh, with the lockdown and that, but performances have been good and there is a good group of players there. So, yeah, you just have to look forward to next weekend, a big team coming to Carrick at home. Um, I don't know, you, you train hard, be part of an inter-county team. It's something just to look forward to, really. So, In terms of the, the chances next week, of course, now looks like you'll be without Ryan O'Rourke based on how he left the field today. He didn't look in the best way uh, as he left with about five or six minutes left on the clock. Is that a concern for the players going in that your captain and probably top scorer so far this season might not be around? Uh, of course, I suppose it's it's just early days yet. We'll have to see. Um, hopefully, look, none of us know at the moment, but hopefully it's not as bad as as we might have thought. Um, leaving Carrick today, but Ryan's an exceptional player and obviously be a huge loss next weekend. Um, but we'll just have to wait and see. And um, yeah, just best wishes to him. Hopefully, he, it's not as bad as as it looked, but. Yeah, going forward to next weekend in in with inter county teams or even with any team, you're going to have injuries. You're going to have lads dropping in, dropping out. So if we have them, brilliant. And if we don't, we just have to move on. But um, yeah, hopefully things aren't too bad. So on a personal note, and I don't want to kind of make light of the situation, but on a personal note, as a forward vying for one of those starting berths in the forward line for Leitrim next week, when you see a player like that getting injured, do you think uh, yes? better chance of me getting a start next week when I maybe didn't this week? Or are you thinking from a team point of view and saying, well, there's a, a weapon we needed uh, in our attack against Mayo next week? No, definitely not. Um, you never like to see a player injured, especially one of your best marksmen. And look, we all know how good Ryan is. And even playing with him, he has a great understanding of the game and usually makes a right run for a kick pass or he gives you a great ball in. So, no, it's it's the opposite. You're you're just you're just hoping everything is all right with him. But like that, we we just have to get ready for next weekend and train hard during the week and just get ready for it. So, well, listen, Evan, hard luck today. But also, I think uh, in terms of the overall season, it's been a disappointing result at the end of the season. But as you mentioned, far with the exception maybe of the court game, uh, there's been some really really fine performances in there at a higher grade than Newtown have been used to in the last few years. And I think it augurs well if this group of players can be kept together I think uh, we'll see plenty more Division 3 clashes uh, like today uh, in the future for this group of players so uh, well done on a fine performance just a hard luck on a, a disappointing result in the end No bother, thanks Brefney